Let's get started with a little overview of how you set up your Digo account. You land on the www.digo.com site and you click Get Started Now to set up your account. Then you go about filling in the information. If you have membership in a Facebook, Twitter, Google, Yahoo, you can use the login from that uh, organization if you wish. It's not a bad idea. Uh, it keeps your logins a little more simplified. And if you don't already have a Facebook and Twitter and Google account, you should set them up. It's just going to be very useful during your coming training. Okay, I've filled in some basic information on a demo account. And we'll use this account to sort of explore and see how these things work. Okay, we have to fill in these audio captcha uh, pieces to avoid spamming the system with robots. So I'm going to do that right now. I always have difficulty with these things. I don't always get it typed right, but let's see if this worked. Okay, now it's going to ask me to activate this account by checking my email. That's what you have to do before you go any farther. So I jump over to my Gmail account and I see, yep, I've got an activation notice. And it asks me to click on this account link to verify that I am who I am. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm ready to go. On this screen, this is the startup screen, you're given some options. If you're a former Delicious uh, social bookmarker user, you can bring over your social bookmarks from Delicious. You can start right out by adding a bookmark, an image, or some notes. Uh, in most cases, you're going to want to go to the Tools area and set up your Google or your Digo toolbar. I'm not going to go into that right now. Instead, I want to show you a little bit about how you could join our group, and that's where we're headed next. To join the group, you click My Groups. Once you're there, search for eLearning for Educators. I'm a fast typist. Now, search for the group. And there you will see a list of possible groups you could join. There's eLearning for Educators, there's my name, there's the number of items that we have in the archive, and this is the number of total uh, members we have in eLearning for Educators. It's my hope that you will continue to use Digo throughout your time at UW Stout and thereafter. It's a great tool for keeping track of online resources. And it's a wonderful graduate student's uh, environment. Uh, Many of these students have gone on, they've graduated, and yet they're still there sharing bookmarks. And the big idea behind this is, of course, if you're in a group of people that you have some trust in and who have a mission to find good information, you're likely going to find, one, good colleagues, and two, good information in this group. So please, now let's go ahead and join it. To join, click eLearning for Educators. And there you are. You'll see a button over here that says join this group. Click the button. And now, you're a member of the group. I would like you to leave me a message and I will come back and okay your uh, ability to post within the group. This keeps us from getting spammed. I have this wide, as, as wide open as I can. Also, while we're at it, go ahead and subscribe to um, daily updates for a while. You can go back and change this when you want to, but this is a newsletter that's sent to your email address and gives you a link and any annotations that are shared by the group on a daily basis. A pretty handy tool. Okay, so we type a brief note, we select daily, we click finish. And now you're a member of the group and you can begin to look through any of the information here these are annotations that I've made. And here's a former student of ours, Jen Hegna, who graduated about a year ago. And bo bottom line is, this is a place where we can share things on all types of topics. These are the tags for the topics that we've been sharing recently. That's a start. I'll do another video or two to help you get oriented. But believe me, the time you put into this program will come back to you once you see the bigger picture and begin to use it to get organized. Thanks for your time and attention.